Murphy to surgery. I repeat, Dr. Murphy to surgery. An overwhelming sense of fear gripped her like a vice, as if Miss Sinclair wanted her and her children dead. We need to talk. Dr. Crawford, I can explain. It's all just a big mix-up. That's all been taken care of. Mr. Smith didn't know you were a doctor in this hospital. In fact, you're going to be treating Jake from now on. He'll be here in a moment. What is Jake being treated for? He's been coming to this hospital for behavioral issues and temper tantrums. And he's prone to violent outbursts. They're here. I was worried I would never see you again. Hi, sweetie. Mr. Smith, allow me to introduce our new neurosurgeon, Dr. Quinn Murphy. Fred felt something as he shook hands with her, but he couldn't quite grasp what it was until finally it hit him. He had met Quinn before. Does Fred know more than he was letting on? Will the truth come out about Jenny's past? I, I apologize for the misunderstanding. My assistant thought you were some uh, random lunatic and not our new doctor. Quite all right, Mr. Smith. Hop on up and we'll begin the exam. We'll leave you to it then. Will you take me to Burgers after the exam? We'll talk to your dad about it, but first I have to ask you a few questions, okay? So I read your chart, outburst medications. Is something bothering you, Jake? everything okay at home? I just get really mad because of my mom. She's not really my mom, and she's mean to me when no one's around. She hates me. All right, Jake, I believe you. I'm going to ask you an important question, and I want you to answer it honestly. Can you do that? Does your mother ever hurt you? Jenny's heart broke upon hearing this. She knew what she had to do. She needed to immediately convene with Dr. Crawford to gauge whether the situation was serious enough to be reported to authorities. I'll be right back. Can I speak to you in private? Is something wrong with my son? I haven't done any neurological exams on the boy yet, but I just need to speak with Dr. Crawford. You haven't even examined him yet, and you already need your boss's help? Doc. Is she even competent enough to treat my son? All right, calm down, Fred. I'm sure everything is... I need to know. I do not trust just anybody with my son. Is he okay, Miss Murphy? Quinn, it's okay. He's the father. What's going on? Jake seems to be under significant stress. It seems to be something going on at home. What are you accusing me of, Dr. Murphy? You think I'm torturing my own child? No, not you. Your wife. I need Dr. Crawford to tell me how to proceed in light of this information. We are legally required to report all abuse to the authorities. You're telling me you think my wife is abusive. I only know what Jake told me. This is outrageous. How dare this woman throw such allegations against my family? I will have your medical license revoked. Don't you care about your son's well-being, Mr. Smith? I did you a favor by coming to Dr. Crawford. Maybe I should have just immediately reported you to the authorities. I should have never dropped those charges against you. I'm taking my son home. Jake! What kind of outfit are you running here? How can my son go missing twice in two days? You, you are gonna pay for this. Jenny thought of how much Jake looked like Denny, her son. Same age, same height, same hair. It hit her. Jake was her missing son, and he was being raised by this horrible man. Fred, please calm down. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. I'll alert the facility. We will find him. Damn right you will. And get this woman out of my sight. I demand her to be fired. Let's not be too hasty. You need to do something. I will have this place on lockdown if my son isn't found in an hour. <laughs> I'm sorry, Quinn. I'm gonna have to suspend you, pending an investigation or until we find Jake. This is wrong and you know it, Dean. I know, but Fred Smith, 
is not just the president of RexCorp. He's our biggest donor and a senior member of the board. My hands are tied. So you just bow down to him every time he decides to throw a temper tantrum? I am truly powerless here. And for what it's worth, I'm sorry. Attention all staff, we have a code purple. Please be on the lookout for a lost child. Miss Simpson? Jenny! Are you all right? I just heard there was an emergency at the hospital. The boy, Jake, he's missing. Again? Oh dear, I hope they find him. I'm sure they will. Fred Smith is a powerful man. I don't know if Jake's safe with him. What do you mean? I'm his mother. I know I am. And he needs to be with me and his brother and his sister. Calm down, Jenny. I I'm outside with the children. I just rushed here as soon as I heard. I'll see you soon. <sighs> Your mom's coming now. Sammy, Sammy, where's Jenny? Looking for mom. Jenny! Jake! Can you stop running away? You're gonna get in serious trouble. Let's get you home. Jake knew he should set the record straight and stop Fred from taking the wrong boy home. But he had wanted to get away from his father for so long. This was his chance. Daddy! 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 I'm not Jenny. Come back to the car right away. You can't just wander off. I'm not Jenny. Thank you for coming, Miss Simpson. Were they behaved today? For the most part. But Jenny had no idea that her firstborn son, the one that was taken from her, was sitting in her car instead of the child she'd raised all these years. But what would happen to Denny now that he was under the care of that terrible man? And worse yet, what would Fred do when he found out who Jenny really was? Start listening to the exciting audio series for free 